We found, um, particularly in patients with non-small cell lung cancer, that if they have stage three disease or more, or they're having concurrent chemotherapy with their radiotherapy treatment, that that places them at higher nutritional risk and, and more likely to need nutrition intervention during their treatment. Typically, they develop uh, acute radiation esophagitis, so it's often swallowing and pain on swallowing, loss of appetite are some of the, the main things, and just a general reduction in food intake, so weight loss and malnutrition start to become apparent. We were looking to see whether more intensive dietary counselling that was tailored specifically to the patient would be effective. So we trialled um, seeing patients more regularly prior to treatment, weekly during treatment and fortnightly after treatment. And we certainly found um, beneficial outcomes. It was only a pilot study, so we can't be certain of the outcomes, but patients tended to maintain weight and nutritional status more, functional status and quality of life were a lot better in patients who were receiving that intervention. We really would like to do a larger randomised controlled trial of the intervention just to establish that it is effective in, in a broader group. It is a similar intervention that's already been shown to be effective in other patient groups, but there's very little evidence in lung cancer. I would say particularly in patients with more advanced stage disease, so stage three or higher, and who are having concurrent chemo radiation, that they should be referred to a dietitian and they should be under the management of a dietitian early in their treatment and throughout the duration of their treatment to make sure that their nutritional status is, is maintained throughout that time. We really recommend a high energy, high protein diet through treatment. So people are getting extra protein to maintain muscle stores, um, really addressing the specific symptoms that they're experiencing. So we might suggest that they avoid certain types of food, but that varies widely depending on the particular symptom that they're presenting with. I think that weight loss is very prevalent um, and it needs to be identified and addressed early for the best outcomes.